Welcome back lighting friends, it's Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions with my Cognito Lighting Control Desk. In the last video we talked about the move in black feature and how that made your life so much easier when working with color changing and automated lights. In this video we're going to talk about filtering and what you actually see when you're in the select task. So as you know, generally when you're in the select task, any one of these features here, you're looking at a grid of your lights. And uh, if you don't see your light, say you're interested in number 21, you know that you can press this right arrow and bank off to the next set of 40 lights and so on. You can also use the magnifying glasses to zoom out to see uh, you know, lots of lights. You can see 100 on a screen or zoom right in and get lots of detail where you can actually read that this is the front lead and this is the the front for the bass and this is the front for the piano you can also see very clearly the color and any of the attributes that uh, that move so what we're going to show this time is filtering on this select grid so that as you're working uh, you are looking at just what you want to look at so to do that what you do is you press the coffee filter button here and you can see currently there is no filter at all I'm going to show you this guy first. This is the selected. So this shows just the lights that are selected. And as you've seen in a previous video, this little guy here is showing us that nothing is selected. Uh, it's kind of difficult to select it because you haven't seen any lights. But you do know that if you hold down shift, it turns the right arrow into the next button and the left arrow into previous. So if you go for the next light, it's going to give you light number one. And there you can see that is a VL1000 TID. From here I can now go into intensity and I might bring that light up there. And if I pump in the red, it will go to red. And then maybe I will go to the position and then put that on my bass player. So my favorite method of getting back to the previous view, in this case it'd be select. Pressing both shift buttons at the same time will get you back to the previous view. And now I can go to my next light, which will be number two, which is a, a similar sort of light. Go to intensity, bring it up, go to position, move it where it is. Um, so that's a, that's a very quick method of uh, looking at just the lights that you're working with. Now, if you have some groups, you can actually see all kinds of interesting things here. Like here, where is the, um, the cyclorama? So I do this and I get my psych. Oh, I can see the color that's in. Let's just give it a little bit more um, red. There we go. And then maybe I'll take my uh, band front lights and uh, we'll take all of those to full. There we go. So this is how you would work with your looking at just selected. So let me release all this out. One of the other very interesting filters is the filter that is showing you just the lights that are currently in use. Now it doesn't matter if they're coming from a playlist or a memory or if you bring them up um, from a control parameter. So right now we're looking, we see the first light and the grid is number three. But if we selected number one and then brought up its intensity, then it's going to get popped into the grid because it's actually in use. It's not coming from the playlist or it's not coming from a memory. But, you know, I could also bring up uh, this guy here, which is, let's see, number five and six are currently not in my grid. But if I bring up this, this memory here, number four, five, and six are involved in that because that memory is my... Uh, band front lights. I pull them out and then is not showing. So this is a nice way to make a flexible grid to show you just what is happening at this time. Something else that might be interesting to you if you change the filter to what is not in use. Now this is the time where the lighting designer is sitting in a queue, you're looking at it, you're thinking that's great but really what I do is I just want a sparkle of light on that bass player. What can we do? And you say well, why don't we bring up the base front lights? Well, that's not very interesting. We've seen that before. Can we do it with a moving light? 
what do we got? So you filter on what's not in use and you say, well, look at this. Number one's not being used. How about we use that? So you grab number one and you go into control and you bring it up and then you might position it and just put it on the bass player and then maybe put it into a interesting color like this. Great. And then when we go back to select, we can see that number one is in use because we're filtering on that. So let's release that out. Number one pops back into the grid because it's no longer in use. The next filter along is what's happening from the left playback. So if we do this, we can actually see all of these lights here are coming from this guy here. Now if I release this guy out, remember my shortcut for that is shift and pause. Nothing is coming from the left playback. But now, if I do this, we go into the preset, and we see 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, etc. are in. We go into the next queue, and she sings. Oh, look at that. Her front light comes up. And then we go into this guy here, and the bass player gets a special on him from number 2. So this is a great filter if you want to see what is just happening on your left playback. Now I could have other things coming like number 10 here involves the two very lights and um, you can see it takes the intensity of number two. Number one comes on but it's not being shown in the grid because it's not coming from the left playback. Then you may want to uh, have a look at what is being controlled by the right playback and currently the right playback is released so nothing is being controlled by it but if I go into this guy here hey look it's controlling all the lights in my psych and then I carry on like this and if I filter on the left playback I see that the psych is not coming from my left playback now it's actually coming from the right playback over here if I release out the right playback the left playback will regain control of those psych lights and they'll pop into my grid um, and the last filter is things coming from memories so all of this stuff is up on stage. It's coming from somewhere, but it's not coming from me. But if I start bringing in, you know, different lights, like one and two on this handle right here, then I can see that they're coming from the memory. Or I might pump up the psych, and there's my psych that's coming from a memory. Or this guy here is my band front lights for the bass, piano, and drums. I can see that they're being controlled from a memory because they're in the grid when I am filtering on memory. So, generally you're probably going to turn it back to no filter, the coffee filter button goes dark again, and you know that you're looking at absolutely everything. Very brief overview on filtering. Next time, join me and we'll look at cue actions and how you can do things like fire other cue lists and even shut down your cognito desk in the last cue of the show. So please join me then. I'm Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions.